What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm really excited to be one of the first and one of the few to review this Air Jordan 1 High utility stash from the Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse movie in this Prowler colorway. So this is an ultra limited release of the Air Jordan 1 High, which is said to be limited to only 100 pairs. And I want to give a huge thank you over to Soul Savvy for giving me the opportunity to review this pair for you guys. It's just, unfortunately, this isn't my size, so I wasn't able to try them on and give you guys an actual on-foot review. Still, I'm happy to give you guys a detailed breakdown of this shoe, and hopefully you guys will stick around. So before I go in any further, spoiler alert, if you haven't watched Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse yet, I would probably just skip this video altogether. So I'm going to give you guys the opportunity right now to skip this video. For anyone else, I'm assuming you've seen the movie already. And this shoe obviously has ties to the shoe that Earth 42 version of Miles Morales is wearing at the end of the movie. So in that universe, because that radioactive spider from Earth 42 bit the Miles Morales that we know and love, who then became Spider-Man, the original Miles Morales from Earth 42, because he didn't end up being bitten by a spider, took a different path, a path of crime, and he became the Prowler. So that explains the look and the colorway for this shoe. And before I forget to mention it, the official colorway for this shoe is black, deadly pink, and fierce purple. And a couple weeks ago, Soul Savvy worked with Jordan Brand and Sony Pictures Animation to host a scavenger hunt within New York City where they gave away a few pairs of this shoe. So on their Instagram stories, they would post clues that were related to Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. And then it was just a matter of first come first serve, whoever was able to decipher the puzzle, find the coordinates or find the location, that first person to find it would end up with their own pair. And on top of that, Soul Savvy also raffled these off through the Soul Savvy Drops app. So the Drops app is an all-in-one app to keep track of sneaker news and upcoming releases, enter any raffle in the world that you're eligible for, and set up customized alerts for the sneakers you want in your size. So that includes restocks, surprise shock drops, and much, much more. So anyways, back to the details of this shoe. So this is of course the Jordan 1 Utility Stash Silhouette. And the biggest change with this shoe that makes it different from a normal Jordan 1 High are the inclusions of these pouches on both the lateral and medial mid panel, as well as strapped onto the back of the shoe too. Before we go in any further though, inside the box, which is just your normal black and red Air Jordan 1 box, this shoe comes with this TPU coated ripstop nylon bag, which has a bit of a militaristic vibe to it. So diving into the details of this shoe, on the toe box, this is crafted using a very plush, slightly tumbled purple colored leather. And just like any other Air Jordan 1, we have these perforations found across the toe box. Surrounding the front toe cap, instead of suede or leather, we have this thick layer of neoprene, which according to Jordan brand footwear designer Chris Hill, the general materials on the shoe have been upgraded to give it more of a tactical use and feel. So this neoprene covers the eyelids of the shoe, and then beneath this on the mid panel, completely covering where the swoosh would normally be, we have the stash pocket or pouch, which is again constructed out of that TPU coated ripstop nylon. And you can see a small nylon pull tab with this pink logo on it. I'm not exactly sure what this is supposed to represent. So if anyone has any guesses, leave a comment down below. Above this on the side flap or wing of the shoe, we have more of that tumbled purple leather and pressed onto the lateral side, we have the Air Jordan Wings logo in black. The top portion of the ankle collar area, this is again covered in black neoprene, and neoprene also covers the bottom of the heel as well. And then hooked onto the back of the shoe, we have an even larger stash pocket, which is again constructed out of that same TPU coated ripstop nylon. In terms of laces, so these actually come with four different lace options. The standard default lace are these flat style laces in black, and they come with these metallic lace tips in the bronze tone, which I thought really gave it more of that premium look and finish. And on top of the black laces, they also give you three extra lace options, which are housed in these Jordan branded vials. This is an example of really, really incredible packaging. But as far as the actual lace colors go, I don't know if I'm going colorblind, but it seems like they're giving us two magenta laces and one purple lace. So I'm not exactly sure why two of them are identical. Underneath this, the tongue is constructed out of neoprene as well, but unlike a typical Jordan 1 tongue, we have these large perforations on the tongue to give you added breathability. And on the top, we have this tag with Nike Air branding in this hot pink color, but we have these purple dots which are overlaid on top, which gives it more of that comic book feel. The interior of the shoe is lined in this black colored nylon, but has this dimpled look to it, which helps to contain and grip your foot in more securely. And then as far as the insoles go, these come with a foam lined insole, which is leather lined on the top. So the upper of these Air Jordan 1s sits atop this solid rubber cup sole, which is painted entirely in black. 
In case within this midsole but not visible to the eye, we do have Nike Air technology for cushioning. And then finally turning this pair over to the bottom, so we have this translucent rubber outsole which is tinted in this purple color. And underneath the pivot point of the forefoot as well as on the heel, we have these red colored circular details which again I'm not exactly sure what this is supposed to represent but maybe it's something we'll find out in the third movie, Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse. So that pretty much breaks down all the details within this shoe. And like I mentioned earlier, unfortunately this is not my size, so I'm not gonna be able to give you guys an on-foot review. But if I had to guess, just based off of the eye test, these look like any other Air Jordan 1 High OG. So if you do somehow have the opportunity to get a pair of these, I just stick true to size or your normal Jordan 1 High size. I'll be honest, when Soul Savvy first unveiled the look of this shoe, I wasn't the biggest fan of this pair, but after watching the movie, my opinion on this shoe has definitely shifted for the better. Yes, it's probably not going to be a shoe that I could see myself wearing, but it's really leaning into the whole comic book aspect of this shoe. And when you look at it, when you compare all three versions of the Spider-Man, Spider-Verse shoes, it almost seems like progressively they're getting more and more comic booky and more and more extreme. The biggest thing though I would have really wished is that if these side pouches were removable, exposing a purple colored swoosh or something underneath, then for me at least, I would have been a much bigger fan of the look of this shoe. But speaking as a comic book fan and a fan of the movie series, I understand from a practicality standpoint why the Prowler would need a shoe like this. He doesn't have the same level of power as Spider-Man and a character like the Prowler would probably need all the stash compartments that he can get. So let me know in the comment section down below, what do you guys think of this pair? Are you a fan of the look of this shoe? Are you not big on the pouches? Whichever side you stand on, leave a comment down below and let's talk about this pair. And for those who haven't watched the movie yet, let me tell you it's an excellent, excellent movie, arguably better than the first one, and I really recommend you guys to watch it. So a huge shout out goes out again to Soul Savvy and Sony Pictures Animation, and thank you everyone else for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy this review, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.